Hello and welcome back to Pillars. We're in the secret stair and uh, we just gotta check out the place. Also, I was uh, kind of thinking about uh, the the government. Uh, these people are running here that everyone should be taken care of, and uh, and I kind of wonder how we will deal with the queen, who is not doing a particularly good job, I suppose. Mark when there be. But let's just get to know this place first. You find a man in, of middle years inspecting a metal too, unlike any you've seen. He has several similarly strange items on his belt, all quite clean and orderly. They look like the tools one might use to pull a tooth or shoe a horse, but much more delicate. <clears throat> he wears pristine cream-colored robes, uh, the muzzle of an Arcubus is visible just over his shoulder. His eyes brighten uh, when he notices you. What is that? The man's robe shimmer with a faint trace of arcane energy. Glyphs stitched into the hems and sleeves seem to be the source of the effect. Good day, traveler. I see you've taken an eye to my instruments. If you've any interest in the medical sciences, you need only ask. Oh, well then, uh, questions? Who are you? I'm a researcher in the medical sciences. And before you ask, no, I don't mean animancy. Neither do I mean magic, nor, gods forbid, necromancy. Medicine, medicine. Study of the kith body, its inner workings and such. Well, glad you cleared it up. <clears throat> I've misgivings about magic use. It's useful, I'll grant you that. But it's a crutch. Stunts our scientific development, you understand. Makes me a bit unpopular, as you can no doubt imagine. Which is why I've got this arquebus here. Hey, I use a great sword, and I still cast magic. What do you mean by unpopular? A patient of mine died under questionable circumstances. One morning they were fine, and the next they were dead. Someone is trying to discredit my work, I just know it. But they won't succeed. So, one guy died, and you're concerned about your uh, reputation? Okay. Hey, not judging, just uh, noting, I suppose. Damn it. I came here to the archipelago to evade my rival's attempts at sabotage. And there certainly is quite a lot of work in the Deadfire, I must tell you. So... Can you teach me what you've learned in your research? I've told you of my troubles. I suppose it's the least I can do. Settle in now. I've got a lecture prepared for just this occasion. Of course, it will cost you 3,000 copper. What? Enhance alchemy and religion for 3,000 copper? I don't think so. Should you change your mind, you'll find me here. I, I keep that in mind. For now, that's a lot of money. Yeah, we're gonna take that. <clears throat> High Priest Hattie, or Haiti, or whatever. The Megronite Priest has the build of a boulder. His thick set frame stretches his fine robes at the seams. He regards you with a steady, calm gaze, nodding in greeting. By the way, this is the Temple of Magran. Be welcome. <clears throat> we gather to honor the goddess. For we must earn the strength to endure the darkest of life's battles. Um... Magran and I aren't on the best of terms. This is your temple? Akira, rain and wind is a better teacher than any priest. A fighter accustomed to comfort earns only bruises. Each obstacle is a challenge we must answer. These are whetstones that sharpen us into fine blades. Um, which way to the palace? <clears throat> the priest blinks, his smile is warm, but there is a little amusement in it. Follow the path as it climbs the mountain, all the way to the serpent's crown. You will see it. So go up. Got it. Magran and I aren't on the best of terms, by the way. Do you believe so? It is not in might alone that Margran holds influence. 
there is purpose, conviction, achievement. You may honor her in many ways. <clears throat> I didn't expect to see so many foreigners and temples, actually. It is an opportunity to learn. What good is a fighter who knows how to defend against a single enemy? If we must one day fight one another, such is Margran's will. <clears throat> Just as a reminder, Margran is the goddess of war, fire, transformation, purification, consumption, and trials. Patron goddess of the Durwood. Though thought to have blessed the Godhammer bomb that destroyed Wade. Wademan and possibly Yotas. Well, it didn't do a uh, good of a job of that. <clears throat> Anyhow. So this is a relatively smaller place by the looks of it. At least we have less to do. East exit. Okay. Maybe the temples here. Gone, shed light upon my path. Sacred stair. Candles and bombs. Um. How can I uh miss Shining that one? God, light your path, stranger. Can I interest you in any of our wares? Like bombs? We g g gathered what we could. Much of our coin goes towards feeding those in need over at the temple. Right. Sure, I have a look. S thank you, ma'am. Boots of speed! Oh, look at that! They like me? Why? I don't care too much about the boots of speed. Yeah... Never mind that. Keep selling bombs. Wait, did you even have bombs? Used to oh, work Dawn farm. Star! Going they like to me! Thank you. you have any bombs? I feel so scammed! Come on! You must no bombs? Party before venturing forth. I was promised bombs! <clears throat> temple of Gong. It is basically a temple of Iotas. Just called differently. And apparently Soti uh, wants to pray here. I'm not too happy about it, but hey. This place is a bloody mess. What a shithole, one might say. It's so it is you. I could not think of a reason why your ghost should haunt the dead fire, save to haunt me. And that smacks of arrogance. <clears throat> Derek smiles crookedly at you, something uh, which causes the soldier beside him to regard you with bemused curiosity. Sister. What are you up to? Uh, Derek turns towards Sori, bowing his head. Blushing, Sori tries to not preen. The guy who lips curving an approving smirk, Adair uh, points affably in approval. Derek gestures and the soldier turns away. He steps in closer toward you as if to share a conspir... <laughs> uh, rational uh, whisper, but you notice that he is looking elsewhere, behind you, around you. Hey, you crazy? Another collection of spirits? The rumor was that Cad Nua was destroyed, and you with it. I was sorry to hear it. I got better. I was dead. Brad brought me back. The gods have a purpose for you. That much has always been clear. Derek seems to be speaking entirely in earnest. There's a trace of envy in his voice. When the priest spoke of Aeotha's <clears throat> return, I volunteered to come, along with a few of my men. I think the morning council was content to have me out of the way. That's putting it all very simply. But then... I suspect few of us have simple reasons for coming to the dead fire. I'm here to conquer the dead fire for the deer wood. I think I'll build my next keep here. What? Uh, that's clever? Why is that clever? I 
<laughs> Sorry, Derek, I lost your sword along with my castle. <laughs> I'm tracking Daniotas. So, his appearance has renewed your faith as well. No. I think for once I am content to wait. If our god wishes to speak with us, wishes anything of us, he will give us a sign. The priests pray daily for it. I don't know who this guy is actually. I didn't play the expansions of the first game, unfortunately. Or maybe just forgot about him. His face might look different. Hmm, Altus is killing people everywhere he goes. I have to stop him. Stop him? Adari glances at Adair. The plan is to ask him real nicely. Yeah, that's right. I see. I will say only that this too must have a purpose. The shining God would not bring such destruction without cause. Yeah, he does have a reason, but it's clearly not a reason that's good for us. Yet, if this were punishment for our failure, surely he had worthier targets. A Derek, stop making excuses for him. What? Sorry, Derek, I lost your sword along with my castle. That sword was only meant to keep you alive through your ordeal. It's fulfilled its purpose. What news of Ratsaras? Each missive from the Deadfire raises new tumult. Some believe our Lord restored, while others doubt. We've done penance for many long years. None of us know what forgiveness ought to look like. It doesn't seem like Aethys has his mind on forgiveness these days. Still fretting about your watcher abilities? But Derek's jaw tenses and he looks away, shifting uncomfortably. I don't know. I came here on a pilgrimage of a kind. Nikataka is full of spirits. And the sea. Where to begin? I would recommend the sea. Self loathing is a blight on the soul, <gasps> Adric. Don't make your journey through hell darker than it has to be. Oh! Something with the birds! I was about to say, we, we didn't have the conversation option. <clears throat> the guy who rocks back on his heels, nodding to himself. I. You're right, of course, sister. Adric stands up a little straighter, as if scolded. He shifts uncomfortably, his gaunt face drawn. You are a watcher still, yet you are neither mad nor killed. It's good to see. Ah. Oh. I take that as a compliment. <clears throat> I found the man behind my awakening and put my past lives to rest. And you aren't menacing innocent townspeople anymore, I hope. I'm not gonna give credit to Barat. I found the man behind my awakening and put my past lives to rest. The cure you sought, and which I was weak enough to doubt. See? There. Determination will win out every time. And now you are on to new challenges. Got it. See you around, Derek. Take care. And may the Shining God light your way. I hope not. <clears throat> Here's where I do the ritual. Right there under the statue of Gon. What? Where? <clears throat> High Priestess... Seven. As you approach, a wood elf straightens over an altar of Gaon. Her robes mark her as a high priestess. She arches and cracks her back loudly, satisfied grin spreading across her face soon after. Jody, I do hope you are not getting into trouble now. Who, me? <laughs> no, I wouldn't dream of it. She smiles at the sight of a stranger. I'm hoping the children of the Downstars can help with the uh, Raparu's food, food shortage. Oh boy! I'm not really beating around the bush, am I? Yeah. Pitley said you may be able to help with the food shortage in the gullet. You did good, helping Pitley with the infected. Anyone half so capable's got my ear. 
but I won't make you an empty promise. She dips her hat, considering. We tried. Chipped some shares for charity. God, it's nearly two years back. Had the means to do some real good. But the guards wouldn't have it. Sent it all to the palace to be shared out. Proper like. Never did see it again. Okay, that settles it. We're going to the palace. And we are breaking faces. <clears throat> what if I could ensure it would reach the Roparu? Of course. Be glad to lend a hand, but how you see our shares reach the Ruparu this time? What makes you think it'll work now when it didn't then? It'll work to gain an audience with the queen and petition her to allow your charity. No, 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 no. There's no second chances, you know. If you're responsible for such a, such an, uh, well, people are dying. People are dying because the queen is not doing her job. <clears throat> I don't care why it's going on, but at very least, she gets fired. I know, it looks a bit, it sounds a bit weird. At very least, she gets fired, but more likely she gets murdered. We call it punishment. <clears throat> The principi run a port beneath the gullets. I could convince them to smuggle the food if you acted as a supplier. Let me worry about that. Just worry about the food. Sorry, but I do worry. How our crops make it from the islands to the Raparu's mouths could affect our standing with the whole of the Kahanga tribe. We do this. It ought to be approved by the queen. I'll... I will work to gain an audience with the queen and petition her to allow your charity. All right. You wind up in the good graces of the Kahanga royals. <laughs> you get them to see the light. And I'll get you our food. Okay. I mean, by working into their good graces, meaning killing them all. <clears throat> I mean, it's only fair. <clears throat> Nortagand. Here for a meal. Just get in line, dear. Ain't no trick to it. Hey, there's a lady I'm looking for. Came from Deerwood. What? And there waves a hand in the old woman's face, as though expecting cataracts she does not appear to have. Short, got a bad temper. It goes by a lava mazzy. Heard of her? I know an Alava. But that ain't a surname. No. Yeah, there's Joe shift sideways to gnaw on his pipe stem. Not real warm, that one. Stop by unannounced, you get a pistol up your nose when she answers the door. I imagine the settlers have to keep their guards up here. I don't know, there's no need for that. Sounds like she's expecting you, Adair. <laughs> What is this? Shady, aggressive, clever. Yeah, that's a that that's her. So she's living with her uh, husband then? Not that I noticed. Edder exhales in a su uh, a surprising amount of air. Huh. Must be laying low. Just that boy of hers. Edder's body goes perfectly still. It seems to waver in the breeze. She's got a son. Uh. How old would you say? Like a, a little boy? <clears throat> Groaning, Suri pulls her hair for, uh, forward over her face as if uh, she can hide from the moment. Oh boy, Suri! Well, your dream's about uh, there. I will go now. Something the matter? No, no, no. Something the matter? Nah, just <laughs> curious. Edder's grip on his pipe has caused the color to drain from his knuckles. Oh, I couldn't say. It's been years. He must be a young man by now. Wow, that's, uh, that's something. Well, thanks for your help. Don't you want to know where to find her? Yeah, I was just about to ask. She's in her songo, last I heard. Got a little plot of land out there. Got it. I guess we'll look that way then. 
Much obliged. Ah, oh, thanks for that. I collect the Viotas. Come on up. Don't be shy. What is that? High five? Take the food? Ah, uh, not right now. Why not? No, no, no. Uh oh. I don't want to steal food. Sure. Dream journal. Okay. <clears throat> Rubbing the back of her neck, self consciously, Sodi casts her gaze to the side. <sighs> Nothing like a homecoming to make a girl remember her roots, even if they are dried up and half dead. <clears throat> She sighs, nudging a bit of mud from her boots before she lifts her face to settle you with her big, dark brown eyes. Adder heaves a sigh. Sometimes I wonder if my brethren don't think I got black ichor running in my veins. Hmm. People often fear what they don't understand. <clears throat> Suppose they do. Suppose sometimes people do bad things in the name of their gods. Wow! What is that? Anti. Ato Asian. Okay. But my brethren do more good than bad. And more good than most. <clears throat> uh, some of these, uh. Uh, gray texts are not very interesting. Not sure if I should read all of them, but. Some of them are interesting. <clears throat> Edder's eyebrows ra rise high on his forehead. He smiles crookedly. Besides, I often don't understand you, Watcher. But I ain't afraid of you. Oh, okay. <clears throat> she ducks her head to hide her smile, but her eyes never leave your face. They glint with a mischievousness. You should be. That's reassuring. Is it? <sighs> Sakes alive. Her cheeks flush Brightly. You shouldn't be so fine to me, Watcher. What? Why not? Makes me think untoward things. Gives me notions I don't need to be getting. What? I can't risk straying when I got a duty to gone. You think that I'm hitting on you? <clears throat> we came here to cleanse your soul. All right. Yeah, I'm ready. I've done this before, but never with such a full lantern. You may want to stand back. The uh, experience can be somewhat intense. Kneeling before the statue of Gon, Sodi set her lantern between her knees. Head bowed, she presses both palms to the copper cage. A loud chant uh, lilts from her lips. As it grows louder, the light from her lantern glows brighter. As does the lantern that the statue of Gon holds in one skeletal hand. The two lights pulse in rhythm with the chant, resonating with each other. Twin heartbeats that pound faster and stronger until the light from Gon's lantern bursts uh, outward in a shower of violet hood rays. The essence bathes Sodi's bent form, making her jolt upright as a Cry escapes her. <clears throat> Don't know if I feel cleaner, but I feel something. Blessed, for sure. Sodi offers you a half a smile as she retrieves the lantern, uh, trembling fingers curling against uh, the gleaming metal cage. The guy who rocks back on his heels, nodding uh, to himself. Let's just hope it lasts, because my lantern feels as heavy as ever, full to brimming with essence, like dark water spilling over my mind. Hmm. Rami, again, the difference between Gon and Eotas? Aethys is dead, and Gon is the death before life. That didn't really clean it up. The guy who lips curve in an approving smirk. What? He's the ripeness before the fall. She raises her sickle, turning the blade to catch the light of her lantern, as if in demonstration. But Aethys isn't dead! That lumber and hunk of Audra might claim to be Aethys, but that doesn't matter a whit. 
She shrugs. Sounds like you're ignoring evidence. He died, so he can't be Aethys anymore. Death changes every soul, even a god's. So I died. Did my soul change? The cat whose lips curve in an approving smirk. And if it doesn't, it should. Well, that's a terrible reasoning. The Dawn Stars are all about godness, goodness and light. Why are you so concerned with death and darkness? Why do you think the God of Rebirth held an aspect of death within him? You can't have life without dying. The guy who pinches his lower lip and smiles. There ain't no beginning without a prior ending. Ain't no day without night. No spring without fall. Totally disagree. Just because uh, people die doesn't matter doesn't mean uh dying is what makes living meaningful <clears throat> you can't grow crops if you never harvest for seeds why are you gathering souls in your lantern i was born to reap souls and lead them to the light were you the cow's lips curve in an approving smirk now with aethys dead and these dire visions i think i need to shield them from a hell gone dark but the more i gather the more my mind turns to tatters. How about if you didn't collect souls anymore? <laughs> that ain't gonna happen. Grinding her teeth, the she shoots you an incredulous expression. You'd ask me to turn my back on my god? Yep, let's be off. Alright, I'll be right behind you. Brad Burton. I can't believe it. Is that really you? Yeah. Solid meals and decent sleep have filled Verton's lean frame out somewhat, but the man retains a fox-like aspect around the face. He greets you with a indecisive smile, unsure of whether to be nervous or pleased. And Adair, you made it out of Gilded Vale for good then. I'm glad. A lot more might have made it out if you hadn't left them for dead. Edir's fist clenched and unclenched several times. I haven't forgotten. It's why I'm here, Adair. Wharton's doesn't meet Edir's eyes. It takes visible effort for him to meet yours. Do I know you? Oh, uh, there's no reason you ought to, really. <clears throat> Just the fellow that left a bunch of Aethasians to die in their own temple back in Gilded Vale. Folks that trusted him. Other than that, pretty unmemorable. Hmm. Edo takes a menacing step toward the man. I. It's true. I was a coward, Adair. I won't argue that. I'm trying to make things right. Sounds good. Virton's shoulders curl inward, but he makes no move to get out of Adair's way. Took some getting used to. Working shoulder to shoulder with Raid Sarens, but it's not so hard as you'd think. Feels like I'm on the right path. Toward a little piece of redemption, maybe. Well, good luck. Doing my best, lady. Horton smiles and inclines his head in a bow. <clears throat> okay, fair enough. You must gather your party before venturing <clears throat> forth. <clears throat> Damn. So much talking in this temple. Not a lot of murdering. Hey, hey, pupper. You know how I've been saying there's nothing more important to me than us freeing you from Bareth's bonds? No. First you mentioned it. Well, I meant that. I did. Edward's breath lingers in his chest and his mouth hangs uh, ajar, throwing his uh, statement into immediate doubt. But there's this other thing I need to see about. On the way, like. I was gonna tell you. It's about love. You don't have to explain. <laughs> Thanks. I'm not sure I could anyway. Damn, it was just a guess. We nailed it. This woman, I, uh... Well, love's not the right word. But she was something to me once, back in Gilded Vale. What? Who? You, well, you make me concerned now. Once Theos was gone, there wasn't much keeping me in Deerwood. 
Thought I'd be happier in Adir, where my folks are gone. I really hope you're not chasing the... I don't know, bartender's daughter. It was nice seeing them again. Been almost since the war. But I didn't belong. Found I couldn't talk to anyone. Not just because of the funny way Adirans talk. Over there, across the ocean, it's like nothing I'd been through ever happened. Not the war, not the legacy. Even my parents missed most of it. And I'm glad about that. But all we had to talk about was stuff from when I was a boy. Then I thought of somebody I knew I could talk to. Maybe the last person. And just like that, I was back on a boat, going the other way. Last I saw her, she was going to New Hayamar. Went looking for her there, only to find that she'd left a long time ago. Anyway, I don't expect you to understand. But I gotta know she ended up alright. Sounds like she ended up with a sum. Yeah, that's... that's something. Coming out of Deerwood during that time. When I knew her, she had another little boy. Just a baby. But the legacy deprived him of a proper life. I never found out what happened to him. But with the Hollowborn, he didn't have to ask. Guess he got a brother, though. <clears throat> yeah, there's Fels quiet, uh, blinking several times before noting your continued presence. Hmm. You sure you want to know where this leads? No, but I don't see a way to let this go. Least a ways not now. Last time I saw a lava, we got friendly. Now she's got a son. Let's get moving. Maybe you want to retire with the Lafa. We don't know. Let's check out the top of uh, Magran's temple. Payment for heads. It could... No simpler, I say. Kauro? So... We have a, a way to go east. Way to go north, way to go west and south. And we have two more temples here. Three more temples? <clears throat> An armored Juana turns and looks you up and down. She holds hit this motionless pose across a long uh, contemplative silence. Finally, she draws out a single pyre and balances the coin on her knuckles. Tell me, are you someone who walks the path that coin lays out before you? She arches her fingers in a, in a wave, causing the coin to flip from one knuckle to the next. She seems enraptured by the motion. I enjoy getting paid, if that's what you mean. Transmuting actions into payment is the alchemy that orders our world. All things turn on the axis of a coin bond. Coin bond? She touches her brow with her free hand as she says the word. Her coin continues its winding journey uninterrupted. I pay bounty so that death can bring order to life. Would you help me continue the cycle? Oh, come on, girl. Can you just say that you're a... Uh... Just an assassin or so, or someone who uh, gives out contracts? Try to steal her coin, maybe? The coin vanishes into her fist before you can close the distance. You accidentally brush hands with Kauro, who looks deeply in your eyes. The next time payment crosses our hands, let it be in the execution of a bond. A vow. A bounty. Holding the coin in two fingers, she lays it flat in your palm and leaves it there. What bounties do you have? If you would forge a coin bond, I know of people on these islands who must die. Their fate is already decided. The coin wishes only to collect. Oh for fuck's sake, Okaro. Stop with the coin bond. Dugra the ascetic is wanted for what? crimes against his monastic order. His people have made a coin bond for his death. She holds a pyre and lovingly inspects its edge, running her index finger along the curve. This... this static... What? I'm freaking betting that his people want him dead because 
they can't say his name. You just can't live life fully like that. That guy is just ruining everybody's life. The Orlin wanders the wilderness on the island of Crooksburr, northwest of Nekataka. Oh, no one Orlin? I fucking love the Orlins. She closes her fist around the pyre. I return with his head. Farewell. Maybe he's a jerk. We're in Orlin. <clears throat> I kind of want to kill this coin bond lady. Supplies. Get your supplies here. Consider, friend. The blessings of the priests are priceless, but so too is good sense. I have supplies here, so that daring travelers may live to honor the gods. You talk a lot. Let's see what you have. Certainly. Magnificent escape cape. Escape cape? Well, this is kind of garbage. Uh, don't feel too bad about it. Diabo. Hello, watcher. Fancy a look at this talk? Straight from the laboratory. That's not particularly tempting. Have a look. Any mancy cat? Okay. Okura's kettle. Amazon and the truly incredible instant potion belt. Sounds great. Uh, let me get you back uh, on on these items. Let me get back to you. I mean, damn it! What is this trash? Spire of Soul Seers. Let's check it out. Soul Seers? Who are these guys? Perhaps Cyphers. Oh, more like Alchemists. Anyway guys, this is a great time to take a break, so thanks for watching and see you next time.